রাষ্ট্রসংঘর সাধারণ পরিষদের বৈঠক এবার ভারতের কিছু বেলে আছে রাশিয়া ফ্রান্সকে ধরে বিশ্বের বহু দেশ এবার ভারতের প্রশংসাত পঞ্চম হয়ে পড়ে আনকি গায়নার বিদেশ মন্ত্রী ভারতক বহু রাষ্ট্রীয় অনুষ্ঠান আখ্যা দিয়ে Imagine having to take care of 1.3 billion people and still having the time at the policy level to say, let us look to see what we can do for the rest of the world. When multilateral institutions should be doing that. So I will dare say that India is a multilateral institution in its own right. India embraced a holistic and outward looking vaccine diplomacy strategy. As a result, Jamaica was able to secure its first life-saving vaccines from India. We are deeply grateful and remain so to the government and people of India, led by His Excellency Sri Narendra Modi and indeed our friend Dr. Jai Shankar. We share the same conviction that reassessing our ways of living is paramount to reach the goals we collectively set since the Paris Conference in 2015. This is why I'm convinced that the LIFE initiative proposed by Prime Minister Modi could be a game changer. All this applauds the strides that India continues to make in the multilateral sphere and will continue to work alongside our neighbor, our close partner and our best friend to solve the challenges that face humanity. Since 1948, more than 250,000 Indian citizens have served in 49 UN peacekeeping missions. Today, more than 6,700 troops from India are deployed in missions worldwide. India, through its international cooperation initiatives, was the first, the very first country to provide Antigua and Barbuda with much needed vaccines. The strong bilateral relations enjoyed by our two countries is further boosted by India's catalytic role in fostering South-South cooperation across the developing world. So I therefore conclude by thanking India once again for contributing to our preparedness for the pandemic, especially investing more in building health infrastructure and beefing up the health workforce, as well as enhancing our national capacity to manufacture drugs, supply of vaccines, and medical equipment. I seize this opportunity to thank India. Agraki Hundurir PT 